All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design. Learn CSS transforms by building a penguin. Step 104. So finally, we're going to calculate the height of the ground element to be the height of the viewport minus the height of the penguin element. All right. Uh, and then that's going to be the end of that. So we're going to change this height up right here. We're going to make it 100 viewport height. Actually, no, since we're calculating, right? It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a uh, free code camp if we uh, didn't have something that we haven't seen in a long time. Remember this function, calc? Oh, I did that. I was, I was so confident. Remember this function, uh, calc, like that? All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say 100 viewport height, 100 VH. And then we're going to subtract the height of the penguin. Now, we're going to have to go way up here to find that out. So let's just keep going. Uh, way up here. Oh, it's another one of those where we go and look through and see everything we've done. Oh, look at all we've done. Uh, we're so we're so fortunate to have free code camp here to teach us. And you see the penguin height is 300 px. So let's come right back down and put that in our calculation. All right. Uh, right here, let's say minus 300 px like that. All right. Uh, what? <laughs> let's put the semicolon. All right. And so now we've got the ground here. What was it like before? Same thing, whatever. Anyway, so now we've got that going on. Let's uh, check it. Let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right. So that's the end of that. Uh, next, we're going to be doing this uh, certification project. Let me get it up here. We're going to be doing the certification project, the personal portfolio web page. And uh, we're just going to build our own personal portfolio. All right. So uh, we'll get started on that uh, one probably tomorrow. Uh, but other than that, uh, next up is this thing, and we'll see you next time.